Well, how cool is this? I'm here with the man who actually designed the 1966 uh, Toronado, David North. David, how are you? Real good. Well, it's a thrill to Real have good. you here. Well, it's good to be here. Uh, Beautiful he, cars. He heard about my car and uh, he contacted me and I was thrilled to hear from him. Tell us about designing this car. Well, this was a real personality car. And uh, back in the era when these cars were done, all of the General Motors divisions were really competing with each other. And like uh, children in a family trying to get your attention, they were very much aware of what the other child got. Right, right. And Oldsmobile was very jealous of Buick success with the Riviera and also Pontiac with the Grand Prix. They wanted their special car. And Ozabil was always known as an inventive car uh, and was doing more of the cutting edge stuff. So an obvious way to separate their cars, front wheel drive. When it came to the look of the car, and that's what we did, that was pretty inventive too, because at that time, all cars were kind of a philosophy of a box on a box. You right. had the lower, and then you had an upper, there was another box that sat on it with a definite break in surface between the top and the bottom. The feeling was if you did all the way from the top to the bottom, it would be boring. The thing that made the Tornado work is after it came up off of the wheels, it quickly uh, went inboard, so you had these huge flares. This is my favorite part of this car. Yeah, it's and kind of essential. This is one of the most copied things I've seen in cars. Right, since. and particularly contemporary cars are yeah. onto that a lot. Uh, car was very controversial when it came out. It wasn't really commercially successful. We always had kind of a benchmark, and that was if a car either was loved or hated, <laughs> but very little middle ground, we were successful. How different were the uh were the uh, sketches from the final product. Did anybody, when you guys came out, did anybody go, oh, this is, uh, that's too outrageous? Well, we, were, we lucked out on that too because we didn't really know this car was gonna come into production. So there wasn't a lot of uh, committee work. Right. It pretty much came from an original concept right on to the finished product, uh, which was unusual. And uh, maybe that's why the car looks as clean as it does, there wasn't a lot of compromise. There weren't people saying, let's do a little of this, a little of that. Like, like to me, the 66 is the purest year. 67 right. was okay. Yeah. And then as it got older and older, it like, <laughs> it got like most Americans, it got fatter and yeah. wider. And I didn't, uh, th well, this was the best year. I love the, I love the, the eyebrows here yeah, and right. the pop-up headlights. Right. Well, you know, sometimes the first idea is the best idea, yeah. and if you fool with it, you lose it. So. This one, uh, particularly uh, this generation, turned out real well. When we did the 67, and I was involved in that too, the general manager of Oles said, uh, hey, I don't want another one of these sports cars, because this wasn't commercially successful. Oh, really? I thought it was a big hit when it came out. I know it won Pike's money, Peak, right? Money. Oh, OK. Yeah. Well, what happened was the car got uh, blackballed because Consumer's Guide did an article that said it didn't have any brakes. It had disc brakes or uh, drum, drum brake. brakes right, first right. year. And that killed the resale value. Well, to counteract that, GM hired uh, the Unser family to run Pike's Peak with it. And then they could see that the brakes were, right. were good. If you could run on Pike's Peak, you could run anywhere. But it was kind of too late for this car. And uh, so the 71 became more of a homogenized version of, right. of it. Is this one of your favorites? Yeah, sentimentally it is, yeah, and, yeah. and I love, you know, I love what Jay did. I, I told Jay the other day, you did more for Toronado than I ever did. Uh, I, I heard you got a little heat because you did rear wheel drive. Doesn't mean anything to me, the car. <laughs> it's the design. It's the design, yeah, right. This is dad. <laughs>